Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today's video was slightly unplanned and it was supposed to have been posted yesterday but I reviewed a video yesterday and it was horrible, okay? Um, it was all over the place, it was extremely chaotic, I even I couldn't even understand what I was trying to say in the, in the, in the video and I recorded it. So I spent like two hours yesterday trying to write a summary of this so that it was easier to understand and easier for me to kind of give you guys the message, which is why I'm saying my laptop's right here, so if I'm kind of looking in this direction, um, it's because I'm, re I'm referring to my laptop notes here. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, and I will, and it'll make a sense, okay? Uh, this video is supposed to be tied to my Women in Modesty video, and it's also tied to this Corn Fridays video, which is why I'm kind of, it has to get posted today kind of thing. So let's go into it. So I had been watching um, a YouTuber's videos by the name of Taylor Alicia, and I will have, a, have her uh, channel post in the description below. Um, she's a Christian YouTuber who used to be like all over the place. She used to not be a Christian, okay? She was an OnlyFans fan. She did drugs, I think. She was an alcoholic. She used to party. She used to dress really of the world, in other words. Um, she used to date like a non, I think she was dating a non Christian. Um, she moved away from her parents as soon as she could, and she was addicted to likes and followers and the fame of that she got with like Instagram, uh, uh, tic TikTok, and all that kind of stuff. She was addicted to that. She's addicted to the tension. So now she is a Christian YouTuber who is trying to help. You know, it, it seems like her videos are, are designed or meant specifically towards women because um, obviously she's a woman but it, it, her videos seem to be directed towards us females and they are covering various topics from being stuck in sin to dressing like a Christian woman or a Christian girl hence the woman in modesty video uh, to her daily routine as a Christian to spending an entire day with Jesus and even how the devil tempts women differently than men and like I said I had been following her for a while I hadn't watched any of her videos until a couple of days ago okay maybe a week now since it's been a little bit um and the only reason why I even started watching her videos is because randomly her video stuck in sin popped up on my youtube feed uh, like on, on the on the home page um and I started watching her videos and her videos are spot on. They are mind blowing. They felt like they were directed specifically to me and not just her stuck in sin one. Her, uh, let's see, I, I got a couple of her videos listed down. Her video, her video called uh, 10 Ways of How Jesus Changed Her Life. A lot of the things that changed her life seem to have changed my life. Her How to Study the Bible her uh her video of how to dress as a christian woman and the the way that the, what she talked about in there and why we're supposed to dress modesty that part is what really impacted me in the whole modesty thing which i'm working towards because obviously you guys can kind of see that but all my other tank top all my other shirts are kind of dirty right now i need to do laundry Anyways, so, um, after watching her videos, it literally felt like God was talking to me. Like, he was using her to kind of tell me what it is that I need to change, what it is I need to work on, and that is why I wanted to do this mini-series, like, it's just a series of videos of, based around her videos, now, I'm not trying to copy her videos. I'm not trying to steal her videos. I'm just trying to say that this is what I learned from her videos. And this is how I'm going to implement it into my life. 
this is how it's changing my life, changing my thinking, and I think, me personally, that if I put this into a little series of videos for you guys, that maybe this might help someone else at the same time as well. Because it helped me, it's, it's actually changing my way of life in general and how I view things and it might help you guys at the same time as well. So, as I, as I mentioned, I mentioned a few of her videos, okay? Her Stuck in Sin video. She covers how to dress like a Christian woman or a Christian girl. Um, and each inv individual wi video, like I said, each individual level, vi level? Each individual video has seemed to resonate with me on a whole different level and it is mind blowing. So, what I want to do is I've been reflecting on them. I've been trying to come up with a series of like how like I want like how, I've been trying to come up with a series of videos covering all of these different things that I learned, um, and I want to kind of start showing you guys how this is going to work in, into my own life. Um, I already I already did the whole modesty video, which is why I said woman in modesty. Um, I get paid this coming Thursday, which means this coming Thursday or this coming weekend, actually, I am hoping to go to some, oh my God, I mean, as, as bad as it sounds, I really don't want to do it. Um, I want to start trying and go shopping for modest clothes. Now, I know one of her videos says that we should look for, high, we should invest in a higher end company, higher, higher end um, clothing company. But right now, I don't have the money for that. So I was going to go to Goodwill and places like uh, Ross and try and see if I can find some of these more modest shirts just temporarily until I can start investing in these higher quality shirts from these like these higher end clothing companies, which I am still looking into, by the way. Okay, um, trying to find a higher end clothing company where they're not all revealing like your your chest and your 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 goodies back there. Um, that's kind of what I've so far been noticing is the hard part. But I'm pretty sure there's someone out there where I can buy more modest clothing. I just need to find them, which I'm still researching. Okay. So here's, let me see, do do. So yeah, like I said, the modesty is modesty is one of them. Um, do 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 do. So here's that. I'm just gonna read this directly because it's gonna be. I, I I have no other way of wording this differently. It says as over the next couple of months and with God's help, I am going to be looking inward and working on myself as a Christian. I want to strengthen my relationship with God to feel closer to Him, and I feel like this journey could help out, help you out at the same time. Uh, maybe something I learned can also help you in your walk with Christ, and if it does, then I've helped a fellow brother or sister in Christ, and that is exactly what Jesus tells us to do. So, that really explains what it is that I'm trying to do here. Um, I don't... I don't want to go feeling like you guys are, like I'm telling you guys, this is this is what we're supposed to do. This is how we're supposed to dress. Um, we're supposed to do this, this, or this. Okay, I'm not trying to say that. I'm just trying to say that by me making these changes, I'm hoping that it'll help strengthen my relationship with God. It'll help strengthen my, I guess my faith in him I go okay my faith is already pretty strong but I'm just saying I hope it'll improve it because I'm getting closer to him at the same time as well um, but I just feel like I should be also trying to help other Christians as well like 
whatever I learned, I want to better share with you guys because, like I said, maybe you guys didn't know about this. Maybe this, like I said, when in this coming video, uh, um, maybe uh, like my Friday video, I mean, um, maybe the techniques that I'm that I'm going to share to you could help you guys out because it's you didn't even think about it or you didn't know about it or something um maybe if i do something uh, when i something specific in my when i actually finally do the uh uh full day of jesus kind of thing um maybe there's something in there that you want to do yourself and you can implement into yours or if i do if i do a daily routine as a christian woman maybe there's something i'm doing that you can also do as well like in let's see what time is it one thirty in about half an hour before my kid gets home from work I mean school his work but school um, I'm gonna be taking the dog out for a walk and that might help you guys out give you guys a like a, a walk with Jesus kind of thing a prayer prayer walk something um, maybe there's when I do the whole Okay, I have to do a little more notes on it, but once I do my, um, what is it called, uh, Stuck in Sin video, I'm going to do a reflection on that, and maybe once I do that video, maybe there's something in that video that might make a little more sense. Um, it's her, her, stuck in, her Stuck in Sin video is basically where you're doing a repetitive sin over and over again and then she explains why we do that and then how we're supposed to be fighting our flesh and we're literally at war with our flesh because our flesh does not want to do what God wants us to do. So maybe that video might resonate with you or there's something else about modesty like I'm going to do another video on modesty like how to actually dress like an actual modest woman. Um, maybe there's something in there that you didn't think about. Um, let's see. Maybe when I do my, my version of how Jesus changed my life, then maybe there's something in there that you didn't even think about that God had changed your life and it just kind of happened. Or maybe there's something in there that you do need to change and you can actually ask God and have him help you change that. So, just something, okay? I'm, I'm not exactly sure how these videos are going to help you reflect or help you and all. I'm just hoping in some kind of way that they do. And that is what my goal is for these videos. Is not only are they helping me, they are possibly helping someone else. And I'm showing you guys exactly how they're helping me. Okay. Um, so as I mentioned... This coming Friday is the very first series, first video of this series, technically. No, I'm sorry. Second, second video of the series. The first video was the Women in Modesty video. The second video is this coming Bible study video. I am going to do a video on how I study the Bible. And there are two different methods that she introduced me to that I now want to introduce you guys. And... I'm hoping, really, really hoping that that video might actually help someone else with just the way, uh, with, with, with those two methods. So the way I'm going to do this video, this Friday's video is we're going to do like a tiny mini session, a, a mini study session. And I'll explain everything at the beginning of that video for you guys. So do, 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 let me see if there's anything else I want to mention in this video at all. Um, and I don't think so. That's pretty much what I, what I wanted to do, but my video for the one that I was supposed to post yesterday was a lot longer than this, and it was all over the place. I was actually, I don't even know how to explain it. I was, I was, I was introducing the videos that she actually did. I was talking about the videos. Um, it was just scattered it was horrible um but anyways i'm hoping this video makes some sense if there's something you're confused about if something just doesn't make sense 
go ahead and comment below and let me know and I will try and explain it in um, a shorter video or even a short if it's if I can explain it within like a minute or so um, but if you guys have got down got yeah yeah I cannot talk to you oh my gosh if you guys have watched the video all the way to the end here you guys might as well subscribe you guys hit the share button subscribe um, drop some comments if what you think and don't forget to hit the bell button to let, so you get notifications for the next coming video. And like I said, go ahead and go take a look at the modesty, the woman of modesty video. And then of course, this coming Friday is a how to study the Bible video. And then of course, again, starting next week, we got Monday coming up with my Bible study of Genesis again. Genesis. Genesis. And then next Friday... I'm going to do another video on modesty on next how to dress modest, like different tips and techniques. So stay tuned. You guys are going to, you, these, these next couple of weeks are going to be awesome. So without further ado, I will catch you guys later. You guys have an amazing week and I will see you this coming Friday. Bye guys.